Hey everybody, Michael Snyder here. National Weather Outlook here, April 4th edition. Taking a look at the infrared satellite imagery here. You can see this low pressure center spinning over the mountainous west. It's going, to, it's going to spawn some severe thunderstorms here across portions of central USA. We'll look at that in some detail coming up here in a moment. This is looking what's happening on the north side of this low. As you can see, this swath of generous snowfall away from Nebraska, Wyoming, Nebraska, into the Dakotas and northern Minnesota here as we go on into tomorrow morning. If we take a look a little bit further south here, you can see the dry line, the very dry air moving in behind this very moist air mass out in front of it, which is marching northward as we speak on the day today. And this will eventually fire off some severe thunderstorms here. And look at this dry line just surge off to the east here. Some extreme fire danger behind that with relative humidities very low. Taking a look at the upper levels of the atmosphere here, dynamic tropopause potential temperature here kind of shows these Rossby waves coming through and you can kind of see this colder air where it dips down here, spawning this system, bringing that very warm air out ahead of it here, very dry air behind it and cold air on the north side of that surface low. And you can see that continue to move across the USA and the stationary front's gonna get caught behind here across some of the southern portions of the US. We'll take a look at some of that excessive rainfall potential down there in a moment. If we look here, you can see 500 mil bars is up somewhere towards 18,000 feet here. And since we have this cold air aloft here, this temperature gradient sets up and that's what's gonna help spawn some of the shear and the strong winds with that system here across central portions of the USA as it's gonna bring a strong tornado threat and some big hail potential out here as well. This is looking at current hazards. The red is actual blizzard warnings. The pink are winter storm warnings. The bright uh, pink here is actually red flag warnings. That's that fire danger extending all the way across Kansas, all the way up towards Iowa even. And you can see some wind advisories are in place. We do have some severe thunderstorm warnings actually going on right now and severe thunderstorm watch across some areas, including Chicago there as some early morning storms have developed, or I should say late morning. This is looking at the day one categorical outlook here. And you can see, it's, again, a double-barreled moderate here across portions of Missouri into Arkansas. It does include a little bit of eastern uh, Oklahoma as well. You've got Iowa, Illinois, and very extreme northeastern Missouri under that as well. Here's the day one tornado outlook. We've got the double areas of 15%. And anywhere in the hatched here, they are expecting the potential for EF2 or stronger tornadoes. And you can see it just does clip uh, portions of Chicago there with that 5% if you look closely. This is the hail outlook here. Anywhere in the hatch could get two inches or greater with some severe hail there. Probably the best concentration up here in the red. This is looking at wind. You notice there's no hatch for the wind though. So that's a good thing. So maybe not too much in the way of wind damage, although it is kind of widespread here for some severe gusts. This is looking at day one fire outlook. You can see that extreme danger all the way up into Kansas here. So yeah. Watch out, don't be the one who provides the spark here out in this extremely dry air here, surging behind that dry line. Here we're looking at day one excessive rainfall outlook. You can see it kind of mirrors where those severe thunderstorms are supposed to occur. And this will push off to the east a bit here. And we're gonna get kind of a stationary front that hangs all the way back through Texas. Uh, Louisiana there on through Mississippi and some of Alabama, Tennessee up towards Kentucky there as well. And this will hang back an additional day across portions of Texas. Some pretty heavy rainfall can be expected here. And this is all the way out for day four. It continues across some of Texas and Louisiana there. Now looking at the 24-hour running precipitation total, you can see some of the severe storms as they push off here. But then you'll notice this kind of area you get bullseyed here. You see it? That stationary front kind of hanging back. There are some pretty extreme precipitation amounts here as we continue to press on through the week coming up additional system rolling through the Pacific Northwest but I mean look at Texas here kind of gets bullseyed as you go through the day Friday and that's as far out as last night's European model run goes but you kind of get the gist of what's going on there across some of the southern states now, I've been pushing this weather station here. This is the Weather Tempest system. It's very accurate. It's been doing very well against some of my more expensive professional weather station equipment. It's all solar powered. You don't have to add batteries. It's all wireless. They store all the data for you in the cloud. You can access it anywhere you have internet access. And yeah, ultrasonic anemometer. The haptic rain gauge is still kind of a work in progress here, but once you turn on the smart integration, it becomes quite accurate. It's got lightning sensor as well. So very good, affordable option there. Click on the link below if you want to 
10% off on that. So anyway, yeah, here we go again. It looks like last Friday here across some of the areas here, I heard have some I had heard some talk about potential uh, capping issues with some of these storms here. And maybe the one to the south here, it's probably going to be firing a little bit later on in through the nighttime. Could be some overnight tornadoes down across the south. So heads up if you are in those areas, as always, as yeah, it is that time of the year. We're now moving into April. Severe weather is becoming increasingly more common here across some of the plains. I'll probably be out here chasing eventually here mid-April through about mid-June. I have a lot of time off there, so I'll probably be doing some briefings from some hotels out there and maybe some live streams as I'm out and chasing some severe weather as well. So anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm just trying to do these national overviews, just trying to get my feet wet here and see how this goes. But I'll always continue to do the Pacific Northwest and California when it's active as well. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day out there. Stay safe, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.